Good morning guys. So it's just after 6 a.m. The one question I get asked the most is people pointing at their bellies here and saying how do I get rid of this? Well, it's a combination of a lot of things. It's nutrition. Now when I say nutrition, it's everything that goes in here. Food, snacks, fluids, drinks, everything, absolutely. And that contributes to 80% of your body strength, your outcome, everything else. The rest is sleep, stress, exercise, and so on. You can do all the sit-ups in the world and you are not going to lower your stomach. Have a look at this. It's a late summer, foggy morning. I love it. It's so beautiful. Anyway, back to the topic and subject. How do you lose and make your tummy smaller? Your food selection. Cut down on your carbs, bad carbs, white rice, so on. Morning. Morning. Cut down on your sugar, cut down on your... Well, if you can, cut it out completely sugar. In my place, there is no sugar. I have a bit of a honey. Sometimes when I want to sweeten something up, maybe a bit of coffee or something, I put a little bit of honey in there. Um, any sweetener is just going to get stored as fat or be used as fat. Carbohydrates, there's good carbs, bad carbs, and move more. That's what I want to talk about today mainly, move more. So here I am in a fasted state. The last meal I had was 11 hours ago. Um, and I'm doing this fasted walk. I'm going to walk for approximately one hour. And while I'm walking, usually I do my phone, text, maybe put my headphones on, watch a YouTube, couple of YouTube videos, listen to music. That's the sort of thing I do. Just catching up generally. And I won't eat anything. I won't have my massive big breakfast, which is close to, I don't know, 700, 800 calories in about another three hours time. So this walk I've done is time to tap into all the reserve fat, excess fat, whatever there's there and keeps the body fat low percentage. So what sort of things can you do in the fasted state that will help you reduce and lower your calorie fat storage or body fat? That's what I meant to say. Low intensity cardio, very slow bike ride, gardening, housework, um, walking, these are the sort of things and it gets the heart rate approximately 50% above its resting heart rate and it taps in and it's much better if you do it in fastest day. It's no point, well it's still good doing it after a meal but you get much more benefit than doing it from uh, when you're in fasted state. It's no point doing the exercise and then going and eating all day crap. It just completely defeats the object. All right, so it's a way of life. Every meal you pick up, you gotta think, am I making the most healthiest option? Um, healthy does not need to be, as people, some people say, rabbit food, salads, and so on. Salad is actually not that very good and it's not going to keep you full for long. So good carbs are your veg. Broccoli, cauliflower, courgettes, peppers, all those. Your bad carbs are your wraps, white rice, white pasta, normal white potatoes. But you still need some carbs in certain things. So, Just to summarize, if you do want to lose that belly fat, then move more. Nutrition. And when I say move more, 10,000 steps. <laughs> now you don't, I wouldn't recommend you do your 10,000 steps in one go, all right? I only do about 6,000 in the morning walk and I do my rest throughout the day or I'll do it at the gym when I later when I do a workout. If you can do more, do more. 
on average I do 12,000 to 15,000 steps a day uh, for example tomorrow I'm going to a theme park and I probably do 20 to 25,000 steps I'll make the right choice of healthy uh, healthy choice of foods and not much will get stored as fat on my body so that's the way guys so that's the magic trick now when you you decide you're gonna you want to lose fat you want to lose your stored body fat and so on one of the questions I ask when people do want to lose body fat is how long has it been since you had a body that you are happy with one friend said it's been approximately 22 years now I said to him you're gonna start this program eating well and exercising and so on to get rid of 22 years of collection you're not gonna be able to do it in a couple of weeks to a couple of months okay it's gonna take you a good you know we're talking about six months and onwards before you start seeing some things that you're happy with so he was fine and he understands and he's been into sports before but with the marriage life family life work he's just lost his way a bit and for someone who's slightly taller than me you know 120 kilos is a bit too much and we're not talking about muscle here so he's doing well fantastic so that's what I'm trying to say to you is have a good long think ask yourself when was the last time I had a body or a physique that I was happy with and if it's been you know only a few years then you will see results in a few months but if it's been we're talking about 10 20 30 years then be realistic it's gonna take you time do it in moderation slightly and slowly because too much change too quickly and that's when people lose interest and lose focus okay what else can I say morning I love seeing results and helping people but it can also be demotivating you know you work with someone when I say work you know you're trying to help someone and you give them all this advice and you tell them and they just don't do it um, they do it for a few days a few weeks and then it's back to square one so the good thing about doing this low intensity cardio everything else is it's good for your joints it's good for your mind it gets the blood flowing all these things are absolutely brilliant uh, wakes up certain muscles the thing about losing weight you got to make sure you're taking less calories than your body needs for the activities you're doing throughout the day now the activities are your work your lifestyle sitting down exercise everything else so let's say let's take some rounded figures for example so let's say you put in all your details into a brilliant app I'm not sponsored by them but it's free and why not use it and um, nobody else can make or has made an app as good as they have so my fitness pal download on your phone put all the data in accurately your age your weight and your lifestyle and everything else and the food you eat and it will tell you and let's take a rounded figure for example 2000 calories okay so let's say you need 2000 calories a day now at the end of the day if you are taking in let's say 1800 and you up your activity of moving more the weight will fall off but bear in mind how you're taking and what type of calories you're taking in so for example you can have three donuts you're taking in the crap calories and that's not going to help you make sure you're getting your micronutrients your protein carbs your essential fats 
and so on. Take the right calories from the right food, have less calories than your body needs, move more, exercise more, and then you'll see the weight fall off. Make the right choices. Cut out sugar and bad carbs, introduce healthy choices, drink more water, good carbs are your veg. I mentioned to a person the other day, with my omelette, um, I'm going to put some courgettes in, finely chopped, and they're like, veg with your omelette, it makes you fuller, it tastes great, with a little bit of salt and a bit of your herbs or spices, absolutely tasty. And the main thing is you're trying to take in is food that's going to keep you fuller for longer but not contribute to too much calories. That's it. There is so much veg. I go to my shopping and I always look and I go, you know what, what haven't I had for a while? Ah, I haven't had bell peppers for a while. I'll get some of them. And with bell peppers guys, remember, green is better than yellow, yellow is better than red, and red is the one that's got the most sugar. Okay, so always trying to go for green. And green is my favorite as well, it tastes the best. <sighs> this video was supposed to be really short, it's ended up being quite long now, so. Best time of the day, it's peaceful, quiet, and you feel like you've got the place to yourself. I've always been a morning person, ever since the age of 13. If you know me, then you know why. And I did that for six years, but then my body clock just became adjusted. Well, I hope you found this useful, guys. Um, I'll be posting a lot more videos like this, trying to help you guys. And just, you know, if I can help one person lose weight, body fat, get a bit stronger, get a little bit healthier, then that would really, really make me happy. Okay? Until next time, guys, um, look after yourselves. Much love and respect, stay safe, and I'll catch you soon on another video. Bye for now. gonna be a beautiful day guys but I'm just walking across the grass to show you something I absolutely love this tree trunk it's been here easily 10-15 years um, massive tree fell and someone must have made it into like a little cave it's like there's not many people around best part of the day as well and it's a fantastic way to start your morning guys or your whole day have a look at this so that's the tree you can go in there sit in there when it's raining and Sorry, I'm just going to some brown some ho horse horse poo. Okay, there it is. <laughs> anyway, get those minimum ten thousand calories. Did I just say ten thousand calories? Oh wow, is that a Doberman? It is. Yeah, Ashkenaut love Doberman. Let's see. 